Well, tell me right now, what else do I not get to weigh in on? I'm gonna come back later on, Sonny. Give me a call. It's about Michael, okay? No, hold on. We'll discuss this later. Yeah, of course. Okay. If it's about Michael, I wanna hear what's going on. Uh, is that my... Am I supposed to leave? We're just talking... We're family, right? So if this has to do with family stuff... It, you, you said... Did you not mean that? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can hear it. Okay, so, um, you got news on Michael? What's yeah, yeah, good news, though, what? for a change. We got a suspect in Brandon Lowe's murder. Okay, so, uh, Abby's off the hook? Yeah, looks yeah. like it. I mean, uh, we got a murder weapon, we got a taped confession, enough for the DA to drop the charges against her. What about the hit woman? Did she say she was working for Yeah, it's know, looking like that. Yeah, right. But, I mean, the important thing is the pressure's off Michael now. Abby's out of the woods. He's not going to take any chances and get his life back together. Okay, good. So, uh, great. Uh, thanks for filling me in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll uh, check in later on, but uh, yeah, sure. in the meantime, you guys be nice to each other. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, it's nice to get a call from my little sister. She's not so little anymore. What are, what are you, going clubbing or something? No, I just decided to change a few things in my wardrobe huh. for college. Mm. Dad, of course, flipped out. If it were up to him, he'd be dressing me like I'm 12 for the rest of my life. And no dating until I'm at least 30. <sighs> That's kind of why I called you. Uh, yeah. Look, to be honest with you, I'm probably not the best person to go to bat for you on this because by law, I have to be a jerk about this kind of stuff because I'm your older brother. I mean, I know you're not 12, but I mean, this is a big step. Well, I'm almost 19. This is how girls my age dress. But at least the ones that know about style, like Maxie. Maxie, so Maxie got you this outfit. She did. I asked for her help and she was awesome. She hooked me up with a ton of free samples from Crimson. That's very generous of her, but I'm sure you can see why your dad might be concerned. Concerned? I thought he was going to wrap me up in a blanket or something. Look, I, I get that part of it's because of last summer when I pretended to date Johnny just to piss Dad off. But this is different, I swear. I have real feelings for, for Ethan. Ethan? Ethan love it? Ethan, didn't you already go down this path with him? And you know the guy's married, right? Re relax. His marriage to Maya isn't real. It, it's just about the money. <laughs> and he's a really nice guy. He just gets a bad rap. He forgave me for everything that I did to him, which I know was a lot. But you just have to get to know him like I do. He's an amazing person, and he understands me, and I can talk to him about anything. Okay, I don't, I don't want to know what you guys are doing. We're just friends for now, but I know that someday we might be something more, and I don't want Dad to freak out about it. So if you could do me a favor and tell him that, I'd be really grateful. What do you mean she's missing? She's the prime suspect in the Lowell homicide. Well, I, who authorized a transfer then? Well, that's amazing. That's amazing. Why don't you call me when you have something to tell me? Oh. Hey. Hey. Oh. Oh. Is everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Okay, what now? My dad's gone. Gone as in gone where? Gone as in he was at Shady Brook for a total of 15 minutes. He left right after Tracy dropped him off. What, they didn't even think to notify the family? Well, apparently it's illegal, so I don't know. I've been trying to get a hold of Spinelli so he can try and search for him, but I can't get a hold of him. I don't know. I got to do something. Okay, just here, sit down. Hmm. Look, hey, tell me what happened. No, I, I, there's nothing else to tell. I talked to the chief doctor. He said that, that they tried to convince him to stay, and he left in a cab. He never even started rehab. He's been lying to us the whole time. We all fell for it. I guess I shouldn't even be surprised because my dad hates goodbyes. Goodbyes? Like, so what, you don't, he's not in Port Charles I, He's, I don't even think he's in the United States. Where the hell would he go? I don't know, but I gotta find him. She's blessed. I know that you're in the zone when you're working on a case, but please, Spinelli, call me about my dad. This is very, very important to me. Please call me. You know what, he's probably at a book signing or something. Here. 
And I was thinking maybe I could call down to the station, use some police resources, but I don't think they'd go for that because your dad's an adult and, well, there's been no crime. It's fine. I think I have to call my family and tell them what's going on. I just, I don't even know what I'm gonna say to Lucky. I'm so pissed off. Are you pissed off at Lucky? No, I'm, I'm pissed off at this situation. I wasn't comfortable with the whole tough love thing and I should have trusted my instincts. All it's done is run my dad out of town to get away from us. Blaming his drinking shouldn't have led to this. I still think it's better to blame his drinking than it is just to blame your dad. How? He's already blaming himself for Jake's death. Now he's supposed to blame himself for alcohol too? We gave him an ultimatum that he couldn't live with. That's why I gotta find him because I'm scared of what he's gonna do next. Well, your dad pretty much wrote the book on how to vanish without a trace, and he's got a head start, so he's not going to be easy to find. Are you telling me to let this go? No, I just, I just want you to relax, okay? <laughs> Take it easy for tonight, maybe rest just for tonight, and then, you know, I mean, Spinelli's not going to find your dad with a click of the button anyway. Yeah, I'm sure my dad's probably taking a completely different escape route than he normally does. I'm sure he's covering his tracks, but I feel like i got to find him or he won't come back. All right, let me ask you this. What happens if you do find him and he doesn't want to come back? <laughs>